Assalamu alaikum and hello friends. Welcome to this video tutorial by Perfect Web Solutions. I'm your host Imran Kasim and friends in today's video tutorial we are going to learn that how can we integrate Blade Templating Engine inside Code Igniter 3. Friends this is very easy and it only requires few steps to integrate Blade Templating Engine inside Code Igniter and after that you can easily use Blade Templating syntax in your views. Friends before I start this video tutorial I will request you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do consider and subscribe, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I upload my new video or any new series about web development or web designing. And also if you are watching first time then do watch our live streams on every Saturday night 5 pm GMT. Thank you very much. So let's get started with this tutorial. So friends right now you can see on my computer screen that I have opened codeigniter.com as well as I have opened packagist.org which is a very good repository system for Composer. If you don't know about Composer, uh, I have created a tutorial but unfortunately that tutorial is in Urdu and Hindi language, it's not in English so I'm sorry for that if you are watching this just because of you are uh, in English speaking from English speaking country, I'm sorry for that you can watch any other Composer video tutorial and then follow this video as well. So I have opened both websites here and then I will download the latest version so just I will simply click 3.1.7 which is current version and I will download it in my htdocs folder and after that navigate to my htdocs folder I will simply extract so just wait a few seconds to so let it to be downloaded okay so it's downloaded I will simply double click it and it will be extracted here so then I will just remove this compressed file and sorry for the noise and I will rename it CI Blade right it is CI Blade because it's it will be coding nitro with blade templating engine so let's run it and see it is working so I will write CI Blade and we have got the welcome screen of coding writer 3 so it means over installation has been successfully done so what is the next step as you might know, first let me navigate to the folder where I have installed Coding Igniter. It is in HD Docs. Let me make it a bit bigger so you can see it. So see a blade. I will go here, and if I show you, it also include already include a composer dot JSON file here. But this JSON dot file, composer dot JSON file, will not work with. Uh, coding writer because there are some settings issue, but I will show you how you can make it work Let me open my project in sublime So I will write sub l dot and it will open sublime text with the current folder and here is your coding writers installation So what I will do I will simply copy all the code inside composer.json and in application folder. I will create a new file composer.json I will save it inside application folder and then paste that code inside application folder so now I have two files one is in composer or two composer dot JSON files one is inside application folder and one is here in the root so I will delete this one on the root and I will just keep the composer dot JSON file inside the application folder after that I will need to enable uh, composer auto load feature so I will go to application folder config folder then config.php scroll down and where you find composer auto load this so you can see enabling this setting will tell the coding writer to look for a composer package autoloader script in application vendor autoload.php file right so if you make it true it will look the folder inside application folder so i will make it true that's it we have enabled the autoloader autoloader so next step is go to packagist.org and just write here blade php simply blade php and then scroll down a few steps and you will find a cool pras slash php dash blade package just click on it and then you will see its steps one by one here first of all you need to install this uh, repository so copy this code composer require cool pras slash php dash blade simply go to your terminal or command prompt go to your application folder and then paste this command or type it as you want so composer requires cool press slash php dash blade press enter wait few seconds let it to configure and install the required packages as well as all the dependencies will be installed so wait for a few few seconds 
So you can see our installation of Blade, PHP Blade has been done successfully using version 0.1.0 and all the dependency needed to run this Blade templating engine properly has been installed with Symfony packages. So now we are good to go and let's configure it with the coding writer and then run our first Blade templating engine with coding writer. So let me go to my packagist.org website and after that it's saying that you need to require but we don't need to require this because as you know we have already set the auto composer or auto load composer true so we don't need to add this what we need to do here we simply need to go over core folder which is inside application folder here and just create a new controller with name my underscore controller dot php just simply save it my underscore c capital controller dot php yeah that's this one and then i will simply write controller so i will see controller base controller this is a snippet i have installed for coding writer 3 i will click on it and it will create this uh, what you call it controller for you so my controller extends from say controller we don't need an index method here what we do need here is three uh, properties protected properties number one is views which will be equal to app path dot views so that we can find the views then we need protected caches or cache app path dot slash cache so this will be the cache folder where it will create that cache folder and the next thing we need the protected protected blade variable which we will use in our code after that we need public function construct so it will construct every time you run your controller so here public function con uh, public function construct we have written here and after that what we need to do here we need to copy some code from the uh, this repository and it says we simply need to do this so here we need to change it this blade because we are working in a class environment and we have it declared outside of the construct function this global variable protected variable or property so we need to access it like this and same goes for views as well as caches and also we need to add this namespace on the top of our class here after the defined property after the defined method we need to introduce this this namespace here so that we can use php blade here so over one part has been done successfully we have configured over uh, blade templating engine inside code igniter that's it after that whatever controller you have what you need to do simply remove this ci and, and then put my underscore controller so what it will do it will look for my underscore controller file inside the core folder and when it found, finds it it will extend from this controller and as you see here this controller is already extending from ci controller so it means this scenario is complete for safety we can write here parent underscore underscore construct here as well just for the security otherwise we don't need it uh, to add this parent construct then we can go to the controller in our welcome controller and we don't need to use this load view anymore what we need to do here we just simply need to do this echo here echo this blade because we have globally declared this glo this blade view make and then here sorry for this noise let me mute my mobile sorry so i have added this blade here and this is the view which we need to render so let me say welcome underscore message here and after that the view in views for inside views folder you need to change the name of your views now because we are using blade so then you need to put welcome message dot blade dot php that's it this is done and now we have successfully configured over blade template engine with coding writer and now we can easily use echo this statement and after that we can use our blade templating engine so just let me reload this page and see if everything is working fine we don't see any kind so good to go we are good to go so next if you see we are passing some variable through this name variable array and it have a variable key name name and then the value is john doe so what we can do inside over welcome controller we say welcome john doe to code igniter so we will do strong strong and here 
the standard blade templating engine simply type at the rate in name that's it save it reload it and you are at the rate name and ame right and sorry sorry not at the rate i'm sorry <laughs> you need to say dollar sign name i'm sorry for that dollar name and then you need to reload and then you see john doe here and now you can easily just misspelled it strong and here you can see john doe as well as now you can go ahead and just simply use like for dollar sign a is equal to one dollar sign a is less than equal to ten dollar sign a plus plus and then at the rate and for after that simply you can write p tag here and then dollar sign uh, sorry curly brackets or mustache elements and dollar sign a and then you have a loop here which shows 1 to 10 counting so it means now you don't need to worry where we need to close php tag where we need to open it you can simply use add symbol and you can go with your blade templates it's very easy it, it, this blade templating engine only have loops and if and decisions like if you need to make an if statement you can simply do like this if dollar sign a is greater than 10 you can say sorry you don't see curly brackets anymore because you are using blade templating engine so if is equal to 10 you can simply write here strong it's 10 and then at the rate else Sorry, not p no php no more php strong is not 10 and and if at the rate and if that's it if you rerun your code and it says it's not 10 because a is not equal to 10 a is less than equal to 10 then it will do a plus plus and a will is not equal to 10 because we can see here dollar sign a and we will see a is 11 so it's not 10 actually it's 11 so we can write here whatever conditions we can do we can write it here if you need to run a function any function php function you can run it like this base url and it will return you the code for base url so i think i haven't set up uh, the base url so just go to config config and here you can set up your base url ci blade that's it and you can see it's not function because it's uh, added i think in a in a libraries and i haven't included that uh, uh, library so that's why it's not showing here it's i think uh, a url library if we can load this library here this load library and url or we can i think this one it is yeah uh, unable to load this load helper Helper, it's a helper, I think. Yeah, it's a helper. Now you can see here localhost blade, CI blade. So now we can use here that templating engine. So base URL simply is that, and you are good to go. So, guys, this was a small or short video tutorial about using blade templating engine inside Coding Writer so that you don't need to write too many PHP code opening and closing, and you can easily go along with your HTML and blade. Curly braces, curly braces so guys i hope you like this video tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do consider and subscribe to it and if you like the video press the like button thank you very much once again take care allah hafiz and bye